With forward pay from Appalachian Wireless, you'll avoid contracts and credit checks while taking advantage of some awesome perks, like unlimited talk, text, and three gigs of data for just $44.99, or with five gigs for a mere $59.99. Forward pay. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. With the changing of fall leaves comes the migration of wildlife, especially deer. The Kentucky State Police is urging all motorists to be aware of the increased dangers posed by deer wandering onto the roadways. In 2015, Kentucky recorded over 3,000 vehicle deer collisions, an increase of 175 crashes compared to 2014. Three people were killed and 163 injured. Motors need to be vigilant in our area, especially for the movement of deer. Uh, their movement's unpredictable, and their location of where they're going to be in the roadway is unpredictable. Around mating season, uh, the activity of deer actually increases, so we're going to be seeing a higher volume of injury collisions involving deer. KSP data indicates the highest percentage of deer crashes occur between the hours of 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. in Kentucky. Deer move more frequently in the morning and the evening hours, so as we're doing our morning commute or our evening commute back home, we need to be aware that these deer are going to be in the roadway. Also, what causes the most injuries when involved a deer is just by not being properly restrained, so we want to make sure that we have our seatbelts on at all times, that way we're not injured in case we're in a collision involving a deer. Officials say it's best to slow down instead of swerving. When motorists see a deer in the roadway, they should apply their brake and try to slow down. Uh, weaving will sometimes confuse the deer, uh, but just slowing down in hopes that it does move out of your way is the best option when you see one in the roadway. For more information about deer-related crashes, visit the website on your screen. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Shelby Steele.